Welcome back to our channel. Very sad news for fans of WWE. Ole Anderson, who was a founder member of the Four Horsemen, has passed away at the age of 81. He was ultimately a member of the band. Ole Anderson, who was a founding member of the Four Horsemen and was widely regarded as one of the most notable heels from the territorial area of wrestling, has passed away. He came from a long line of wrestling competitors. It is a tragic and unanticipated occurrence that he has passed away. Ricky Morton shared the news of Anderson's loss with his fans on Instagram at an early hour this evening. He did so through his account on the social media platform. Morton wrote to Anderson, Rest in paradise, Ole Anderson, in the letter that he sent to Anderson. Regarding the world of professional wrestling, you have been an extremely helpful and informative source of information for me. The bravery that you displayed was akin to that of a nail. You will be deeply missed by each and every one of us. The kind friend that you are. The death occurred at the age of 81 for Alan Robert Rogowski, who was more often known by his stage name, Anderson. Alan Robert Rogowski was Anderson's real name when he was born. During the years that followed his time spent competing as a wrestler, Anderson worked as a booker for Georgia Championship Wrestling and Jim Crockett Promotions. He was currently employed by both of these organizations. When it came to the 1984 acquisition of G.C. Dow, he was particularly involved in a battle with Vince McMahon. This conflict was very contentious. Anderson never betrayed his promise to McMahon, despite the fact that he ended up being a member of the administrative team of World Championship Wrestling, WC Dog. McMahon was no exception to this rule. According to reports, he did not give his permission to participate in films or presentations at the WWE Hall of Fame, which resulted in the continuation of the enmity that was a consequence of McMahon's territorial conquest. Lex Luger was ultimately given the opportunity to take up Anderson's job as an original horseman alongside Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, and Arn Anderson, all of whom were managed by J.G. Dillon. This opportunity was ultimately granted so that Luger could take over the role. Ultimately, Lexington Luger was given the opportunity to take advantage of this. During the year 1987, this opportunity was no longer accessible. In addition to being a member of the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, he was also a member of the Kayfabe family, which included his brother Gene Anderson. Following the departure of Lars Anderson, who was also not connected to him, he took up the role of the group's replacement when Lars Anderson left the region. He had no connection to Lars Anderson in any way. Despite the fact that it was reported in 2007 that Anderson had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, there is currently no information available regarding the specific cause of death. The year 2007 marked Anderson's passing. Thanks for watching.